Well, Edward Scissorhands is on the loose in Texas. Oh, no. Residents in one Fort Worth, Texas neighborhood say they're getting fed up with the activities of somebody they're calling Edward Scissorhands. Really? The unidentified knucklehead is trimming their trees in the middle of the night without their permission. I would not be complaining. <laughs> that depends on what they're, what he's shaping them into. Oh, that's true. One resident has caught him on surveillance video around 3 a.m. Stop. Can't sleep? Grab the pruning shears. He reportedly trimmed about a dozen trees on three streets, and it may cause a problem with the HOA. Well, what doesn't <laughs> cause a problem with the HOA? <laughs> Neighbors say they've uh, they filed police reports, but it's unknown if he'll face any charges if caught. <laughs> we, we were, when we moved into our house, they did our landscaping, and they planted, I kid you not, a dead tree. <laughs> It'll come back. <laughs> I had to say hey, something. you didn't pay for live trees. You just paid for trees. <laughs> you got to read your contract better. But I mean, that's what it yeah. is. Your, uh, your agreement didn't say alive trees. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, and, and I got an email yesterday. Just said I, trees. Because I asked. I, I asked if it could be, you know, replaced with a live one. And they said, no, no, I can't. No, we can replace it with a dead one, but we can't replace no, it with a live that's, one. No, that's your responsibility. <laughs> I'm like, but you paid it. Oh, anyway. HOAs suck. Right? Firefighters conducted an unusual rescue when they were summoned to assist a woman whose foot became stuck in a massage chair. Oh, no. How the hell is she sitting in it? City of Naples Fire and Rescue said firefighters <laughs> responded to a report of a person with their legs stuck in a massage chair, and they arrived to find the woman's foot was stuck in a part of the chair intended to massage the legs. What? How'd she get her foot up in there? I don't know. The firefighters cut off the power to the chair and used a grinder to cut through the steel rods holding the chair's roller in place, all while she's uh, screaming and That's carrying on. That's not what I paid for. The woman was examined by paramedics and released at the scene. Oh, thank goodness. Maybe she was really short and her feet didn't go all the way down to the Poor bottom. Thing. And her feet were caught up in the, be so the leg part of it. What does it take to get some relaxation around here? I sat in one of those <laughs> in a Sky Zone. You know the trampoline place? Oh, yeah. You While paid. I was waiting for the kids to jump around. You paid for that? Yeah, I put like a buck fifty in one and I sat in it and... How did it work? Uh, I couldn't walk for like a week. It did something to my back. Like it popped something like... It ground something in my back. Ooh, muscles. That sounds awful. Bones or something. That sounds awful. I could barely walk for like a week. I was like... It's supposed to relax you, right? That's a Massage horrible you? story. I know. <laughs> That's a horrible. I've been better story. off jumping on a trampoline. Uh, right. Those are your knuckleheads. <laughs> you can find those stories and more wherever you get social media. Look for Mel and Scott in the morning. Yeah, no massage for me. So did she ever get her foot massage? <laughs> Poor lady. I'm the bad boy. Yeah, you thought you were tense before. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's awful. So much for the massage. Uh, Skater Country, one hundred one point nine. Good morning.